What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors, which is right there <laughs> in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And we're going for a test drive in this 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. It's got the 327 under the hood. Of course, power brakes, power steering. It's very clean. We'll be taking it down the road, pointing out flaws. So you know what you're getting before you get here. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping, maplemotors.com. So, just me looking at this car. It's got a beautiful paint job. A lot of new chrome. Everything seems to be taken care of. Aftermarket set of wheels, disc brakes in the front. Of course, this one is an automatic. It's got the bucket seats and nice black interior to match the black paint job. Guys, I think this is gonna be fun. So sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's a game we like to play on the channel. Interior's in great shape coming across the dash here. Looks nice and clean. A little drag on the starter there. Blower motor not working. Wipers not working on this one. Turn signals. They're not flashing on the dash on either side. And of course the little radio here has been all the way up and it's not working either. All right, as far as the horn goes, no, nope, they didn't hook that one up either. Okay, let's go ahead and take off down the road. All right, there we go. All right guys, let's take off now. Got y'all on the head cam. Uh, take her around the block. Back her up. Linkage is a little bit off in the shifter. Right, speedometer's already up, but it was wrong. It was saying we were going 25 just then. There we go. Good shift. It's like straight as an arrow going down the road with tight steering. She's pulling good. What happens when I hit the brakes? They stop fast. Speedo is definitely fast. We were running like 45 and it said we were going 70. A little bit of rattling when you floor it. Sounds like the exhaust up there. Something's rattling on it. But the kick down is not adjusted correctly on this one. Other than that, running and driving, she's pretty smooth. Just y'all down just a hair. Waiting on the red light. Hey, thanks. They're probably like, what's on this dude's head? on through here and head over to the church I just want to get a good outside shot and then head back to the lot and the biggest reason is I don't want the rain to get on this car I hear the underside is nice and pretty and it's not worth getting it all dirty being out here in the rain all right let's get these shots and head on back
turn signals, if they didn't work in the video, which I haven't checked yet, they do now, and they're popping up on the dash. Check this out. So, yeah, it was a loose fuse. And they're nice and bright, too. But I'm going to put this at the front of the video. You're going to see the video where I go over and show tire signals and stuff. Uh, the loose fuse was not fixed, and now it is. So that's cool. But yeah. Alright guys. simple uh, gas gauge on this one I do not believe works either what's funny is if you were watching the other video I seen 444 again on my watch that's what time it was <laughs> I've seen it right when we started this. I don't know what's up with that number. I feel like it's good luck or something. It's also the end of uh, Maple Motors telephone number. Maybe that's why I see it all the time. I'm glad it quit raining long enough for me to finish this video. I did the walk around first. I have been doing that here lately. It seems like I can get to know the car a little bit better right off the rip before the test drive. Um, but I like the way it's set up here on our platform where I put it at the end. It's gotten where uh, everybody knows where each segment is. Like you can find the undercarriage shot, you can find the walk around at the end. Like everybody seems to know the pattern and I just keep it that way on purpose. I try not to be boring by doing the same thing, but it also helps when you're trying to buy a car, knowing exactly where each segment is if you're trying to skip around in the video. There's a bump here, it's right here. Super smooth, back in our brakes. Let's watch out for the puddle there. We've actually made it all the way back around to the lot.
and our gas gauge hasn't moved at all. I can hear the turn signals, but I don't see it flashing there. And in the video where I go and do the undercarriage shots before and after I try front and rear turn signals. So keep that in mind. This car's got plenty of power. It feels good going down the road. Let's go ahead and pull back in the uh, showroom with this one before it starts raining again. Good deal, guys. Let's look at this top real quick. All right, so. As far as this convertible top goes, it's manual top. And this thing looks new, guys. It's wrinkled because it's been down so long, but look, the back window's nice and clean. Yeah, very easy. The clips are all there too. A lot of times these little clips here are broken. This one's not. I'll have to use two hands. Hold on. There it goes. There we go. We are buckled in and tops down. Did it pop out? I think it did. Let's try it again. There it goes. Now it's in there, right? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this test drive. Pick it up. The flaws is coming up next. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. It's always detailed pictures of financing on all of our cars. I really like this one. She looks great. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you later. Yo guys, picking out the flaws again on this 68 Camaro convertible. I did forget to open the trunk, so let's do that right now. Go with the older key. Older keys always work better, don't they? Nope. Let's try the newer one. Yep, the newer one did it this time. Proved me wrong. We'll start with the trunk since we're back here already. Looking down in the trunk itself, it looks awesome. Little chips. It smells great. A good clean smell to it. A while all them spots are popping up on my lens there. Make sure y'all aren't covered in stuff. No? The lens looks good. But hey, it went away, didn't it? Trunk lid on this one looks awesome. Pretty clean. Your jams there. Coming down with the trunk lid. dirt on there okay let's go ahead and start up front of here bumper looks new the bottom portion in good shape same with the grill looks awesome let's scuff there Black 
mark there. Come down the side. Tires are in great shape. Wheels look good. Disc brakes back there. Put over the fender. Little paint run at the bottom. Tires on the back look good. Back your midsection. Front windshield looks good. Chrome looks good. Handles in good shape. That's coming off. That's just a little bit of smear there, probably from the armor off. Inside of that top looks great. And down this side, lower portion. Scuff here. Back your midsection. Light little scratches right here, and those should buff out. They don't look like they're deep in the paint. Same with here. Little scuff. Just a light wax will probably take that off, honestly. No need to break out the buffer. This car is beautiful. Front windshield looks great, trim. Checking out the interior. Door panel's been replaced, everything's nice. Jams. Trim plate there looks good. Looks like on the console you got a crack here. Got some pitting on your uh, blower motor gauges, your air gauges up here. They're all pitted up. Okay, let's go ahead and start her up again. Super clean under the hood. I'm gonna come all down with it. Comes down nice and easy. Oh, 
All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. There's detailed pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com, and I do this every day, so hit subscribe. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.